Problem 46. This is a Laplace transform problem. In this problem, we, our problem statement is y double prime plus y equals, at two separate times, 1 and 0. This problem equals 1 from 0 is less than or equal to t is less than the pi over 2. And the little 1, 0, when t is greater than or equal to pi over 2. In addition, our initial conditions of this problem are y is 0 equals 0, and y prime is 0 equals minus 1. Now, this ODE has to be written in a form that we can take the Laplace transform of and therefore understand. So, the function, this y prime plus y equals this type of function, the heavy, the heavy side step function, which looks like this. square wave, an infinite square wave. That's all that it looks like. However, in this problem, it looks like along these lines. One from zero to pi over two, and zero for all the rest of time. Now, Putting this in another form that we can understand and hit the Laplace transform of is not easy. However, once you think of it, it's not that bad. So you have to rewrite it in the form of u. So i double prime plus y equals what turns on this this function is off from all time before zero and on when it turns at time zero. So we use a function of u of t. This is simply saying that we raise up to 1 wherever the hell we're doing. However, this also is turned off at time pi over 2. So we have to subtract 1, which is the habitat sum function, u at pi over 2 of t. Now taking the Laplace transform of this, we get transform of this guy over here. We get s squared y of s minus s y prime of zero oh, y of zero minus y prime of zero plus y of s we write equals e to the minus a s over s minus e to the minus pi s over 2 over s. However, this a is from a Laplace transform table, and that a is the certain time that the heaviside set function turns on, and that time is 0. So this e is simply e to the 0, which is 1. The issue in order to find out exactly how I got all these expressions, just look at the Laplace transform table of y double prime and y, and the heaviside set functions, and you'll see exactly where they come from. Now factoring all these things together, we can get s squared plus 1 times y of s plus 1. This comes from the application of our initial conditions in the problem. Since y0 equals 0, this term right here goes to 0. Since y prime of 0 equals negative 1, this term here goes to positive 1. Now this equals 1 over s times e to the negative pi s over 2 over s. We therefore now have y of s equal to 1 
s s squared plus 1 minus e to the minus pi s over 2 over s s squared plus 1 minus 1 over s squared plus 1. Now we use fraction decomposition in order to figure out what the constants are in order to have to look with this fraction right here. Because the Laplace transform of this is something that no one knows. It is not provided in the tables that you have in this course. So the fraction decomposition of this thing right here. s squared plus 1 equals a over s plus b s plus c over s squared plus 1. Simply from the fraction decomposition rules. Now doing some algebra, you can figure out that a equals 1 and b equals negative 1. And also that c equals 0. Now, Putting this back in the expression we have above, we can get that 1 over s minus s over s squared plus 1 is the total fraction decomposition of this expression right here. Now, rewriting this y of s, that knowledge, we get 1 over s minus s over s squared plus 1 minus e to the pi s over 2 over s times 1 over s squared plus 1 minus 1 over s squared plus 1. That is our Laplace. That is our official expression for y of s. And all these things, all these terms, we can take the Laplace, the inverse Laplace transform of in order to convert it back to the time domain, the t domain. Because that's all that Laplace transform is. We are transforming from the t domain to the s domain. This is analogous to transforming from the time domain to a frequency domain, or from position space to momentum space, in order to more, use, or more readily solve the problem at hand. I'm taking the inverse of loss transform of this. We get our y of t. 1 minus the cosine of t minus u pi t of t times the sine of t minus pi over 2 minus the sine of t. This is our whole entire solution to this problem.